Hi guys, welcome back to Life Rocks. Today we're here at the actual filming site of the TV series Dallas. And this is the Olympic sized swimming pool that was used for both the new and old series. This pool hosted many of the iconic viewing pool parties, as well as a few pool fights. <laughs> Today, we'll be touring the South Fork Mansion, and while we're at it, be sure to drop me a comment and tell me about your favorite Dallas episode. Hang on, let's rewind that for a second. Yup, that's the same patio table and chairs. They've just gotten rid of the yellow cushions. Stay tuned to find out how you can spend the night in the iconic Ewing Mansion. You can't miss the famous South Fork Ranch Arch from the main street. You'll recognize the arch and the long driveway from practically every episode of Dallas. The tour begins at the Ranch Roundup, a gift store filled with just about any Dallas souvenir you can think of. The Ranch Roundup provides plenty of photo opportunities and a museum filled with Dallas memorabilia from the original and the Dallas reboot. After a quick walk through the museum and a chance for a professional photo on the set, it was time for a tram ride across the ranch and over to the mansion. Welcome to South Fork Ranch. As we get started here on your right, you'll see these flag poles. <clears throat> they represent some of the 96 different countries that the show Dallas was shown in. We changed them out throughout the years so that by the year's end, we've had all 96 countries represented up there. Here on your left is our oil well drilling platform. One of our previous owners bought the platform as well as an oil drill out here hoping to hit oil. He was unsuccessful, he went bankrupt. They had to sell off the drill part and now all that's left is a platform up there. Off to your left where the trees are, you'll see a small pond. When uh, Bobby had apparently died on the show, that's where they filmed his funeral service. And at the end of the season, it was revealed to have all been a dream and he was still alive. Coming up on your right and left, all throughout this area, we have our animal pens and barns. Off to your left is our Mare Motel, where we keep our regular horses. And off to your right in these two pens, as well as in the barn across the way, we keep our llamas and our miniature horses. And as for the miniature horses, that is, that, that is as big as they get, they are full grown. Here in front of us is International Drive. You might recognize it from the show where it appeared to be a little bit longer thanks to the magic of television. And as we come up here to the mansion, please remain seated until the tram has come to a full and complete stop. We'll be exiting on your left hand side. Please have your tickets out and I'll collect them as we go in through the patio entrance. And as a reminder, please keep your masks on while inside the mansion. Please remain as socially distant as possible and you'll enjoy your tour. As we take a look around the mansion, be sure to drop me some comments and tell me about what you recognize from the hit TV series. Speaking of recognizable images, does anyone recognize that portrait from above the mantle? Do you know whose bedroom this was? If you recognize either of these bedrooms from the series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Were you a Dallas super fan? If so, you can come spend the night right here in this mansion, like a real Ewing. The package includes full rental of the South Fork Ranch, champagne and hors d'oeuvres, a steak dinner for two served downstairs at the dining room table, then a swim in the Ewing pool. Then enjoy popcorn, candy, and drinks in the Ewing living room while watching episodes of Dallas. And then a night in this famous bed. 
Breakfast is served outside on the patio table in true Ewing style, and it's all for a mere 2,000 bucks. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button for more videos like this, and come along with us as we continue exploring the South Fork Ranch property. After the mansion tour, you're free to roam the grounds where all the ranching scenes were shot. You don't want to miss the Lincolns and Longhorns, where you can see the famous Lincoln Continental driven by Jacques. You can even visit the cemetery where all the Ewing family members were laid to rest. Don't worry, we were assured there were no actual bodies buried here. So I'm the caretaker now, huh, Mama? I'm the only one left. Thanks for watching my tour of South Fork. Hope you decide to join me again for another adventure.